Max, welcome in, brother. How we doing? Good. Thank you for having me, Austin. Um, excited to be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, thanks for making time to to hop on and tell tell a little bit about your experience of Agency U. Um, why don't we kick this off, man? Maybe maybe just give a little three thousand foot view of your agency, what you do, all that good stuff, and then we can get into to more fun things. Yeah, yeah. So my name is Max. Um, I run an agency called Podfluence. It's a content agency for podcasts. Essentially, we specialize in cutting up long form video podcasts into clips, but have also gone to other things thanks to Austin, like account management, strategy, um, research and prep. So been doing that for the past, I'd say, eight or nine months um, while I'm still a full time student in college right now, finishing my last semester uh, in L.A. at USC. So it's been awesome doing that and have learned so much um, just the past few months working with you. And it's, it's really been awesome. Oh, killer. Yeah, super, super dope offer with like the podcast and the clips and how you're, how you're really positioning it. Uh, I think you what your success shows, but I think it's just getting going, man. It's really cool to see. So maybe share like, so maybe share like, like why you joined Agency U or kind of like where you were um, like before prior to like joining Agency U and like learning like what you know, what you know now and like where your business was at um, from that perspective. Yeah, so when I started, um, looking into agency, you, um, I was at, like a few months into my agency, new agency owner, um, obviously first time doing anything like this, still in school. And I knew there was a lot of things that I needed to do. I'd heard people say, you need to build systems. You need to build a great offer. I read obviously Alex Hormozzi's book about offers. And still there was just a lot of things that I knew I needed to learn. Um, and they say, you can either learn things through time or money. And, um, I ultimately realized that, um, me taking the time to learn these things um, would also cost me money as well because I wouldn't have that insight that you and Gilberto had. So really hearing your guys' stories about um, where you started from and obviously where you guys are at now and the other agency owners you helped out really resonated with me. Um, and I realized that um, the best thing to invest in is yourself. Um, and obviously with the first few months of the agency, it was, it was pretty slow. Um but I realized that if I put everything back into it, um, it's only going to improve. And also that the skills that you guys are teaching in agency, you, whether it be sales, building systems, all these things are transferable to any business I want to start in the future. So that was one big thing that I realized that let's say this agency did fail. Let's say I didn't do what I was going to do um, in the future. I could take the pieces and the things that I learned uh, to another company, whether it's an agency or not, every business you're going to need to know how to sell you're going to need to know how to build systems. You're going to need to know how to onboard clients, um, have customer success, everything like that. So I really knew that um, this was about building skills and making me better as an entrepreneur, obviously as a new entrepreneur, not having a ton of experience, and then also um, shooting to to grow the agency. Yeah. So it sounds like like you like you came in, newer offer. I think you had like, you have one client? You had one client when we started? Yes, I had two clients. I had two clients um, on monthly. Um and I didn't necessarily have an offer. I was doing a couple, a bunch of different taking, yeah. Like school, I was clipping, yeah. I was clipping, and then for another client, I was also filming, um, coming up with content ideas. And I really didn't have a focus, so I didn't have a niche. I didn't have, I didn't really have anything like that. But I did have a great case study from podcasts. I think you guys really opened my eyes to to leaning into that, um, and using that to build uh, and focus on one thing. Because as you have you as you've told me many times, um, if you're doing everything, you're doing nothing. So um, doing all these different one-off jobs for people may be nice if you need immediate cash, but in the long term, you're not going to be able to build anything sustainable. Um, and you're not going to be able to build the systems and hire the people to do these things because, like you said, you want your agency to be a well-oiled machine. You want everything to run um, very smoothly and. Um, sort of like an assembly line. And you can't do that if you're doing 50 things. So I think um, really focusing on one thing and getting really good on that, really dialed in has been has been huge for me. Yeah, because you were kind of, yeah, you were doing one thing for somebody else, one thing for somebody else. And then it's like, dude, you got this freaking podcast thing. And like, I don't think you saw it at the time because you were like, oh, I'm just like clipping. Like, Dang, yeah. sick. like this solves a lot of people's problems and like is a dope angle. Um, but I think we could really, really feed into and, and see what we could turn, turn from it. So, okay. So come into agency, you two clients doing a little bit of everything for everybody. Like what were, what was like the, 
I guess like when we started, like what was the most impactful thing that that we had worked on um, for you that you feel like has made a difference in in your agency? Yeah, I would say there's really two, but the first would definitely be the offer. Um, like I mentioned um, initially when I was trying to sell my offer, whether it just be clipping um, or video editing in general, there was nothing that really made me stood out. There's a thousand video editors, there's a thousand clippers, everybody's DMing. Um, big influencers saying they'll clip their podcast for free. And there's nothing that I really added that made me special. Um, and I think building other things into my offer and viewing myself more as a strategist um, has really helped a lot. And I think that's been the game changer. I actually have signed clients that had rejected me in the past um, because I changed the offer. Um, and having that home run um, offer really distinguished me from other video editors. And then also helped me um, make this more, obviously this goes into the systems, but turn it more into a business as opposed to just being a glorified freelancer um, because there are other services that we're offering and we're providing real value to the clients. Yeah. Yeah. So it sounds like the the main thing that was like positioning your expertise as a solution to people's problems rather than just like a commoditized, like, okay, cool. I can like find some clips and like edit them for you. And then hopefully they'll do well. So what is like the position of your offer right now? Like how, what, what was the positioning before? And then, I mean, there was no positioning, but where, where are you positioned now? Like how, how are you talking to clients about it? Yeah. So essentially um, what we were doing um, is we're actually helping podcasters um, plan and prep their episodes as well. So in order for great short form clips to come out of the episode, um, we help them sort of what we like to call like stage quote unquote viral moments by coming up with hooks and um, attention grabbing questions beforehand and really diving deep into the guest or the topic so that we can ensure that there's a certain amount of clips um, that are good to go. Obviously, a lot of times in podcasts, there's very good um, long conversations, but that doesn't always do well for social media um, when it comes to short form. And I think that um, short form is the easiest way to grow right now, especially and drive viewers to, to your podcast. If you look at it sort of like a funnel. So we essentially set them up for success and we provide everything that they need to be successful in that aspect to ultimately grow their viewers long-term um, as well as grow their, their other social channels. So doing that as well as um, helping them take a lot of time off their hands, um, whether it's with account management or other things like that, really being that solution to them to make it as, as easy as possible for them um, to see success in their podcast. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's where a lot of like agencies miss, right? Is they're like, okay, I can, I'm really good at clipping. I can just like clip for it. But in reality, what actually is more valuable is the results that the clips can provide. And that involves like stacking the offer based off of your expertise. And I think it's been really cool to watch you be like, okay, cool yeah, I can like help them with viral moments. We're already doing that for XYZ person. It's like, cool, why don't we include that into everybody's offer? And then like pre-prepping pre them, which takes a lot off of their plate, which ultimately helps them get the result, which ultimately keeps the client satisfied, want them to come to you and all that good stuff. Yeah. So it's like the transformation for you. Yeah, that, that was huge. And that's the difference between um, like closing, closing deals personally, I think. Uh, has really create helped me create a unique value proposition that I otherwise wouldn't have had. Yeah, no doubt. So as far as like like um like as you've been like growing from like a tangible perspective, like what has come about like your business from like when we first started X amount of months ago to where you are now, whether that be financial, like your time investment, your team, all that sort of stuff. What does that look like now? Yeah. So initially when I first started, um it was pretty inconsistent. Like I mentioned, doing a lot of one-off jobs, things like that, whether it was in between four or $5,000 a month. Um, and then recently this month will actually be our first $15,000 a month. Um, thanks to agency you. So oh. um, really stacking that offer and getting um, I, at the time, I, I didn't know anything. I, I didn't have contracts. I didn't have an onboarding process. Uh, people were paying me late. Um, I didn't realize that we should sign three to six months of agreements. So all these things that you provided that may seem very simple um, in hindsight um, were things that I, I was oblivious to. So having these things um, has helped me have people stay on retainer and actually keep my clients longer as well because we're providing a better service. Um, and it's it's much more official than a kid sending you a Google doc or just a oh, yeah. payment or, or saying PayPal me this money. 
um, from having invoices to contracts, um, welcoming e e emails, onboarding stuff, everything like that has really been a huge shift um, in the perceived value of my agency. Yeah. So, so going from like inconsistent one-off projects, 45K, not knowing if they're going to renew next month to now retainers at $15,000 a month. And I don't even think we've scratched the surface as it pertains to like what's about to, what's about to come. Cool. Yeah. I mean, a hundred percent, hundred percent. We got to get the social funnel going. So I mean, <laughs> scratch the surface, man. We haven't, we're just getting going. Um, cool. Yeah. As far as like sales goes, like what are some like key, key things that stand out to you as, as, as it pertains to like how you've grown from like a salesman? Yeah. Initially I didn't have um, a process for sales. So I was doing, I was sending prices over DMS, over messages. I was <laughs> um, doing phone calls, but really, um, through your help and Gilberto's help, I really dialed in my sales process and doing a lot of one-on-ones with Gilberto, um, even with some tough feedback. Because you don't realize, I think, initially um, how bad you are at sales. Initially, most people are going to be terrible at sales. Um, and still, obviously, working on that. But I think having the ability to do those one-on-ones, analyze different things that I've said um, on calls or looking at, at other calls and building out a process for it. Um, having everything from um, proposals that you share with the client um, while you're going through um, the Zoom call, as well as guiding them with questions uh, to lead them to realize themselves that they need your service as a solution to their problem. Because really, ultimately, what we I realized through Gilberto and your help is that um, you're, you're solving a problem for them, and you need to help them realize that you, you actually want to help them. You're not just trying to make money. They have yeah. a problem and um, you have to position yourself as the best way to solve that problem. Yeah. Yeah. So it sounds like it now it's like more comfortable going into it a little bit, even like less pressure from you. Yeah. Well, a lot less stressful, I'd say. And then just because of the preparation, I think yeah. confidence comes with preparation and there's nothing worse than um, putting yourself out there and doing things without any preparation, not really knowing what you're doing. I remember yeah. before I was taking sales calls, like walking out of class, doing random things just on the phone um, yeah. as I could. And now having a lot more structure um, has made it a lot easier for me um, and having something that's repeatable that I can follow. Um, and then learning from each of the calls that I have and, and, and making adjustments as well has yeah. been huge. Yeah, no doubt. How about like, so how about like the operation side of things? Like what have, what has some been some of your takeaways? Cause like, what we're not is we're not like a legion company. We're not like, Oh, we're going to get you 10. We're going to help your agency get 10 leads in one day or, or you don't pay type of deal. Like we want to help like full spectrum because like, if you get too many leads and you operationally can't handle it, your reputation's on the line. Like you're, you're messed up. Like you, you're overwhelmed. You're burn you burn yourself out and you hate your business. So like we try to have like the two pronged approach of like, okay, really good sales, like in the, all the elements there. And then, help you fulfill it, build a team that, that we can help fulfill it. So as it pertains to the operations side of it and like being able to handle it, tell, tell me a little bit more about like what you've implemented. That's been like really helpful for you. Yeah. You said it best. I think you and Gilberto are uh, like a one, two punch. Um, he's got the sales, you've got the operations. And I think it's something you don't realize that you need until you reach a certain point. And now that I've grown in clients, um, really implementing that productized process that you shared with me um, has been huge. Initially, I didn't, I didn't necessarily know what that was. Um, I think we talked about it a little bit earlier um, on this was having your agency run like a machine. So everything needs to be laid out from the moment that the client signs the contract to the videos being posted. And you really helped me with that, breaking it down. I know we're recently um, tweaking it and adjusting it a bit um, for the workflow that um, we're doing with the new offer but ultimately implementing that so that you can delegate um, and buy back your time. Obviously, initially, um, you don't, a lot of people, including myself, you don't want to delegate because you want to keep um, the quality high, but you need to have that trust in other people and then trust in yourself to share that you can teach these people and show them how to do things by setting good expectations and being very clear in the roles and responsibilities that they need to have. Yeah. So you really showed me um, the importance of a productized process and it's making my work and time working much more enjoyable and easier. Um, without a productized process, you're going to be unorganized texting 50 different clients or all the different clients. Um, like I was using Google Docs 
um, and, and getting everything into a centralized database where we can uh, manage projects effectively. I mean, keep track of it so we know what's going on um, has really, really been a game changer for me. Yeah. And you have a team of what, seven, five, five or uh, six, six, six. Yeah. Dope. And just making their life super easy and just teeing them up for success is huge. Yeah. hundred percent. I think something that I want to touch on, even though it's slightly off topic that you um, really have helped me with. And I think this applies across everything in life is setting expectations, whether it's with your team or your clients. If you set super high expectations and the delivery bar is super low, obviously people aren't going to be happy. And the only reason people are unhappy is because their expectations were unmet. So something we do with our clients um, and obviously also with the team. And even I've taken this out into personal relationships as well is like setting expectations or setting personal expectations on what I see someone else doing. So I'm not let down if that makes sense. So I think that's something that's just the lesson that I think I really wanted to highlight because um, that, that that's the key to uh, making sure everyone's happy and, and everything's all good. Yeah. The whole Apple analogy, the whole, any frustrations on my expectation, like all that stuff, super, super valid as you start to build and, and build a team and you want to do it, do it the right way. So that's dope, man. Um, as far as like agency you goes, like if I'm watching this right now as maybe like I'm on the website and I just like hit on this or I'm just going through like YouTube, like who do you feel like is is like a perfect fit for for agency? Like what like what kind of customers do you think mm-hmm. would mold as it pertains to like who we're helping? Yeah. I mean, if you're watching this video, I was watching this video a few months ago. Um, not really sure about if I wanted to join and just kept seeing Austin on the social funnel all the time providing a ton of value. And uh, I remember watching one of these and really resonated with what was going on. And I knew that I could do that as well. Um, there's just things I needed to um, get access to and uh, learn in order to do this. So if you're watching this out there, like there's a lot, I'm not, I'm not necessarily Austin's not, I mean, Austin's great, but there are people doing things um, that you could, that, that you want to do that you're not doing just because you won't take the action and you're never going to grow if you want to, if you're ignorant to other people's opinions. So I think the biggest thing is being open-minded and having people like Austin with experience and Gilberto help you out. So, but to, to answer your question, um, I would say if, if you're a new agency owner or an, or an agency owner struggling with consistency um, when it comes to your clients, um, it's unpredictable client. Um, you have un, unpredictable client acquisition as well as you're drowning all your time um, in operations and you can't seem to figure it out. Um, agency CU essentially has everything that you need, um, to grow your agency and they'll work with you, um, based on specific stages. You're not just going to apply everything at one time. Um, and what I think is awesome is that Austin and Gilbert Gilberto are not just delegating this out to, to other people. They're in the trenches with you. Austin was in the trenches, helping me build my productized process on notion, um, when I couldn't figure out certain things. So they will work with you every step of the way. And, They've been at those steps and had so many students at those steps that they know, okay, the first thing you need to do, the foundation of your agency will be your offer. So we need to dial that in first before we even get going. So we, there's step-by-step processes for where you're at in your agency. So even if you already have an offer that's doing well, but you're you're struggling with leads or you're struggling with the workflow, there's different um, things that they will help you with to achieve the next step. And they know the steps from, starting out um from zero zero dollars a month to 10k to 20k and obviously austin up to 200k a month with brandtegic so um really anyone within that range this can this can really help out yeah dope yeah and i appreciate you said that we will actually get into the trenches with you like it's not like we just delegated you to a bunch of recorded videos or like some group calls or like said hey like wait till the next group call like like we're chatting on slack and like like what you said even like what was it yesterday or or the day before, whatever day that was? Like yeah. signed into your notion, bro. And I'm like doing yeah. it because it's like you're going ham. You're going ham and you're like, yeah. I got this, I got your back. So yeah. versus me, like, have your back. Totally. It's not like a 45 minute sermon me telling you like why you need to do this and why you need to invest another six hours to try to figure out on your own. Like to me, that's not like setting you up for a win. You know what I mean? So yeah, appreciated you saying that. Cool, man. And then like, what's next? Like, like you got your offer dialed in. We're pretty much done almost with like the productized process. You got like a good amount of retainers. I think that you can survive 
while you're also in college, which is awesome. You're making more than you would outside of college, inside of college, in my opinion, with the degree that you're going for, which is killer. Um, uh, what's like, what's next for you? Like, is it like, cool, I want to like scale this up and like, like, dial in my processes, lead gen, like, what do you feel like is next for you? Um, where do you want to take your agency? Yeah. Uh, what's next is definitely scaling this up. I think, um, like you mentioned, we're finishing up the productized process right now um, and ensuring um, that we get talent acquisition. I think we didn't really touch on that, but something that's a struggle in a lot of agencies is finding good talent and really nailed it down to a science on how to attract talent. Most people just think um, you could put up a job post on Upwork and you'll find somebody, but if you really want to find a player and they're not everywhere, um, you gotta, you gotta do more than that. And so that's been a huge help. And that's something we're, we're, we're launching very soon. So I think the goal after doing the productized process um, and that talent acquisition funnel is definitely getting into the lead gen. I mean, we haven't launched any content or even the outbound yet um, and we're still doing amazing. So I think like you mentioned earlier, this is just the start. And once we dial that in, um, it'll be amazing. Um, and, and we can scale from 15 K a month, um, to 25 and to 30, 50 and beyond. Um, yeah. and that's, that's really the goal is to, to remove myself out of the business and, um, really just work on generate generating sales and being a real CEO. I don't think I'm not a real CEO yet. I'm still like in the trenches, but, um, slowly helping myself get out of there. And I think this is something that you talk about a lot. That's, um, uh, very good is, um, you need to be a real CEO. Like you're not, most people that are running agencies are glorified freelancers. Um, so that's something that's, that's a goal for me uh, to actually be running a business um, as well as um, growing it and, and, and doing, doing all I can to give uh, great, great work to the clients. Yeah. And you feel like you have a vision and like the steps to get there. Like you can like see it clearly versus like, yeah. you guys lay the, once you join agency, you there's different steps and stages broken down um, for where you're at in your journey. And within each of those steps, um, there's specific things that Austin has gone through and Gilberto when growing their agencies that they know this is what's going to take you to the next level um, from 10 to 20 K a month from 20 to 50 and then beyond. Um, it's pretty much laid out there for you. Um, and then also it's not obviously a one size fits all, but as I mentioned, um, you guys are in the trenches with us and make everything very specific. So this isn't just a, a group where you hop on a Zoom call once a week with like 50 other people and um, you watch a bunch of courses, you know, yeah, so awesome. very, um, very, very customized. And um, regardless of the one on one Zooms to essentially 24 hour Slack access to you. Um, with messaging and you're always on there. So if there's anything I need something, let's say I'm about to send out a proposal or I have a question about something. You're always there at the snap of a finger to okay. respond and, and get back. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. I think what I just want to like double click on is like the vision. Cause I think a lot of people like who are in the trenches in the forest, I like to call it like they're, they're in, they're doing all the things. It's really hard for them to be like, how do the hell do I get out of this and get to 20K, 30K, 40K, 50K a month? And it's like, they feel so lost in, in many ways and they don't even have like the direction in doing that. Like I would say, you can't see a forest if you're in the trees, right? And I think one thing that like you've done a good job and what you've begun to look at is like, you can see your business as like a forest where you're not so much in the trees. And now you know exactly how to like grow it and the steps to take. And it's just a matter of patience, action, and just following the process. It's pretty much what it is. So that's really cool to cool to hear. So um, cool, man. Anything else that would be helpful for anybody listening or, or watching um, this before we? Yeah, I think you oh. touched on it a little bit. Um, and I was definitely lost. I, I didn't have a roadmap on where to go to grow my agency. I obviously wanted to grow it. I wanted to grow it. Still want to grow it to 20K a month, 50K a month, 100K a month. And if you have no guidance, you're kind of just going to be hopping all over the place and you're going to save a significant amount of time by going to people that can teach you these things. I mean, we pay so much money uh, for college classes for different things like that. And you don't see necessarily, obviously you can get a job, but a tangible ROI on doing a random uh, like psychology class. Um, this is like a, a fraction of the cost of obviously going to school, but educating yourself in other ways outside of school as well, I think is very important. And if you're hesitant to spend that money, um, just know that um, even though 
there's it, it may be scary because obviously initially it was scary for me as well. It's um it's something that's necessary to take you to where you want to go in a faster amount of time. You will save yourself over time based on the lessons that Austin has learned. I'm sure there's mistakes that you've made in the past that have cost you thousands, even tens of thousands of dollars. And you and the entire community of agency owners share the lessons that they've learned, um, which will ultimately save you a lot of time and money. Um, and within the first, I would say month or two, um, just by making a few small tweaks um, when it came to like the sales process, I already received my money back on top of, from new clients. Um, so obviously um, I think it's scary, but it, it's something that I believe is necessary. If you really want to take yourself to the next level in the fastest time possible in the most efficient way possible. No, appreciate it, brother. Appreciate you sharing your experience. Appreciate you sharing good stuff that's been going down. Hopefully this helps someone watching Max. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for having me. Of course. Keep it going. Join agency. You. I'm telling you, like, it's not, it's not a scam. It's uh, <laughs> honestly the best. I think I, I used to work for a, a, a course, actually, um, different industry, but um, seeing the different level of like effort in specific details that there is in this, it's, I, I truly think it's an unmatched. I'm not even just saying that Austin's not paying me to be on here. It's, mm -hmm actually like i think is the best um agency coaching program that there is yeah. so especially for video owners. so i've been through i can't i i agree and appreciate you echoing that and seeing that too so